Hello Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading. So we're going to take a look at messages for the month of July. Sorry about the delay, I'm a little bit under the weather. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. This is for someone rising Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So remember to check your other placements. And I'm going to be pulling um, general messages as well as spiritual love and career. So we're going to start with spiritual energy first. Spirit, give me some messages for Gemini. What is the energy? Messages for Gemini. What is the message, Spirit? Confidence. Divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego. You make space for something larger to take hold. Please fill me with your confidence, oh love. Grant me courage I never knew I had. Okay. I'm hearing confidence is the key to success. Some of you may be lacking when it comes to your confidence. Let's tap in further, Spirit. Tell me why is confidence here for Gemini? What is the energy? Why is confidence here for Gemini, Gem um, spiritual energy, the king of swords? Some of you, I feel like I'm hearing like taking direction, seven of swords. Somebody could be misguiding you, misleading you intentionally. Give me an energy for the king of swords. Somebody feels like whatever this plan is, this manipulation is, is actually going to work. So somebody could be overly confident. Yeah, somebody's making a decision to block, to delay you in some way, stagnate you. The number seven could be significant with the seven of wands, seven of swords. Tell me more about the king of swords. Why is the king of swords here? Ten of pentacles. This could be a group of people, Gemini, coming up against you. That you're unaware of. Trying to act like they care, but they really don't. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Oh, yeah. Somebody's real toxic. These are karmics, but what it's giving me with this devil to the Seven of Wands is they're trying to make you out to be the devil energy. So it's like, let's protect ourselves from Gemini. Gemini is the bad person. So let's protect ourselves from him or her. Somebody could have Capricorn highly aspected. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? For some of you, your confidence could intimidate this person or these people. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini? The Ten of Cups. So, Ten, Ten. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. It's like a group of people want to make it hard for you to receive something, to be blessed monetarily, emotionally, have your wishes fulfilled. Like, they want to make it harder than it needs to be. It's almost like they want to teach you a lesson. Somebody feels like you're way too confident, so they want to knock you down a few steps. Give me an energy for the Seven of Swords. Or give me one for the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? For some of you, this is somebody that won't let something go. So this is somebody who you could have had issues with in the past. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Gemini? What's the energy? Page of Swords. And this person wants to watch you struggle. Like, whatever you are meant to receive, somebody wants to watch you struggle to have it even though it's already yours even though you're meant to receive it give me an energy for the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here for gemini what's the message why is the seven of swords here what's the energy the hermit virgo gemini energy yeah it's like somebody's secretly doing things behind the scenes behind your back why is the seven of swords here death scorpio energy somebody wants a very significant change to happen in your life the moon, ace of swords. Yeah, it's like, I'm hearing like truth declared. So I feel like this person doesn't realize that they're going to be exposed. Like for some of you, you're very enlightened and you already know the truth about this person, these people, this entire situation. But, you know, somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody's in disguise. They feel like they're pulling the wool over your eyes. Give me an energy for the moon. Why is the moon here for Gemini? What's the message? Why is the moon here for Gemini? What's the energy? The Hierophant. The truth about a commitment. The truth about a relationship, a marriage. Give me an energy for death. Why is death here for Gemini? What's the energy? The Seven of Cups. Tell me more about death. Why is this here? The number seven is significant. We have 777. Judgment. Somebody's receiving some type of karma and they don't know where it's coming from. And it's from the divine. 
I feel like you're meant to go into union with someone, but there's been some interference. Look at this. Knight of Wands and the Empress. Now, for some of you, this is somebody who you were meant to commit to, but they um, wanted to have a Knight of Wands relationship with you. They didn't see your worth, your value. I'm also getting, um, for others of you, somebody's pregnant. Somebody ended up getting one of their options pregnant. Somebody could have married someone due to a pregnancy. Give me something on this Hierophant. Libra Taurus energy on the Empress. Three of Pentacles and a Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this was something put together by a group of people. Like somebody was forced to go in another direction when it came to a relationship. And they followed suit. They thought these people had their best interests at heart, but no. It's like somebody surrounded by a bunch of karma. It's like a karmic family. Like just a very low vibrational... <sighs> family unit give me an energy for confidence why is confidence here the hangman somebody put their trust in the wrong people that's what they're realizing or they're about to realize pisces energy and they got themselves trapped i'm getting like the adams family somebody's name could be adam or begin with the letter a let's take a look at general messages but yeah somebody's gonna have full clarity about what they got themselves into give me some energy for gemini general messages general energy for gemini what's the message spirit conflict and despair the number five so somebody's going through a change give me an energy for conflict and despair why is this here for gemini why is conflict and despair here for Gemini? What's the energy? The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's been wasting time. Something's not paying off how this person anticipated. Why is conflict and despair here for Gemini? What's the energy? Eight of Wands. Somebody's waiting for some type of communication for something in the mail I'm getting. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, money. Money. Somebody's waiting. Oh, you know what? Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's waiting to hear about work. Some type of job offer, opportunity. Um, I'm also hearing online. Give me an energy for the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's in despair when it comes to their stability. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Gemini? What's the energy? The High Priestess. Somebody's trying to figure out where like their next payment where you know their next opportunity is going to come from give me an energy for the high priestess why is the high priestess here for gemini what's the energy two of cups i'm hearing holding out for a commitment so this is somebody who would have chosen to hold back from you and now they're somebody's like waiting so for some of you this person is waiting to hear from you, but with the Eight of Wands next to the Seven of Pentacles, this person has full power in the situation. Like, they could just reach out to you to make you an offer, to ask you out, but instead, they're waiting on you. Or you're waiting on this person. The roles can be reversed. Take it as it resonates. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? What's the energy? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Gemini? What's the message spirit? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this is work-related. Now, for others of you, well, this is a relationship. This is somebody who wants to communicate with you about working things out. The number eight could be significant with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Number 88. Tell me more. Two of Wands. Somebody may have to relocate, may have to transition for this new job when it comes to where they live. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Now, for some of you, somebody's worried because they have a job opportunity coming, but they have to relocate. And it's like deciding between you and this job. It's like this person will have to walk away or if not fully walk away, there will definitely be some distance here because this person will have to move, which could put a strain on the relationship. And that's what this person is worried about because they've invested a lot of time or that's what you're worried about. 
but somebody is a hard worker with the strength card next on the eight of pentacles leo energy tell me more about the eight of pentacles why is the eight of pentacles here for gemini what's the energy why is the eight of pentacles here the eight of cups yeah it's like somebody gonna have to walk away from a relationship they feel like they have to walk away from a relationship a commitment they have been invested in for some of you this is somebody that may travel for work i'm hearing japan that could be significant give me an energy for the two of wands so somebody conflict and despair somebody has a decision to make and whatever this decision is it's going to be life-changing give me an energy for the two of wands why is the two of wands here you have the chariot to move Somebody has to make that choice or you have to make that decision. Cancerian energy. Why is conflict and despair here for Gemini? What's the energy? The page of wands. Tell me more about conflict and despair. The ace of wands. Yeah. Somebody's receiving news about relocating and they're going to be heavily conflicted. Somebody's not going to know what to do because literally somebody may have to move across the world, across town, but... There's going to be some separation here. Something also has to do with legal separation. Somebody may be deciding to get legally separated. There could be news coming in the mail pertaining to that. But this is your general energy. So we're going to move on to love. Love messages for Gemini. What is the energy? Love messages for Gemini. What is the energy? What do you want Gemini to know at this time? What is the message? Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Let's clarify apology. Why is apology here for Gemini? What is the message? Why is apology here for Gemini? What is the energy spirit? Okay, so I have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. In chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So let's go ahead and tap in and see what the energy is. Spirit, tell me why is deception and chemistry here for Gemini? Why is this here? Why is deception and chemistry here for Gemini? I have judgment and I have the emperor. Aries energy. For some of you, something has to do with somebody that you have a child with or children somebody definitely wants to reconcile with this judgment energy tell me more about judgment <clears throat> but they're toxic this is a karmic relationship a karmic cycle capricorn energy on the devil tell me more about judgment why is judgment here what is the energy The Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, I'm just getting like remain single. So it's just best for you to remain single or that's what you're going to be deciding to do. Why is the devil here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the devil here for Gemini? What's the message spirit? The moon, Cancer Pisces energy. Yeah, because somebody like has hidden intentions. Um secret motives. Like this person is trying to act as if they're coming in with a pure heart, but they're not. They're still karmic, still low vibrational. Tell me more. For some of you, this is somebody that just wants to keep you single. Like, they just want to intercept if there's anybody new coming into your energy. This is somebody that want to be all in your business. Get yeah. Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to know, like, are you single? Like, whoever <clears throat> this energy is meant for... This is somebody who asks you, like, okay, are you seeing anybody? You know, what's going on? Like, this is somebody that's all up in your business just to make sure that you have not moved on. And if they have an inkling that you are moving on, they want to come back in and, you know, sweet talk you and try to get you to reconcile to pretty much sabotage whatever connection or what could be a connection from happening. Give me an energy for the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Gemini? What's the message? Why is the emperor here for Gemini? What is the energy spirit? Why is the emperor here? Four of cups. 
Tell me more about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? What's the message? Why is the emperor here for Gemini? What is the energy spirit? Why is the emperor here? The ace of wands. Because somebody don't want you to start a new cycle. I feel like there's somebody, for some of you already in your energy or that's coming into your energy, um, that is a boss. Like, this is somebody who has leveled up. This is somebody that's very mature, make wise decisions, very grounded, stable, emotionally mature, has himself together when it comes to their finances. Um, that's very significant. That's the energy I'm picking up on the most. This is also somebody who is a go-getter, who's very driven. For some of you, this is somebody that's like a higher up with an organization or they have their own business, a side hustle. You know, this is somebody that just doesn't talk about it. They they are about it. They be about it. Um, and this person don't want you to, to be with whoever this masculine figure is. Give me an energy for the four of cups or he or she won't. Once they find out, look at this title card. Somebody don't want you to move on. So this person is going to be finding out that you are moving on. For some of you, something could have to do with social media. Give me an energy for the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Gemini? What is the energy? <clears throat> Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who does not want... Um, this connection to work out to things to go in your favor something to fall apart for you give me an energy for the ace of wands why is the ace of wands here six of wands tell me more about the three of pentacles it's like whoever's against this is it it's like falling on deaf ears. It's not going to matter because it's going to be successful regardless of who don't support it. Who tries to go against it. Give me energy for the three of pentacles. Six of pentacles because you're still going to get what you deserve. It In the end, you get what you deserve. Like this person can give you what you deserve. So God is sending someone in your life who is going to actually give that to you. And vice versa. It's going to be equal give and take partnership the number six could be significant um 66 with the six of pentacles and six of wands tell me about apology the queen of swords and the seven of pentacles yeah somebody they want to apologize to you but it's lies this is somebody who is not being honest they're just telling you what you want to hear to get back into your good graces and that's all this person is not serious. It's not to be taken seriously. Like I say, somebody just wants to block whatever you have coming in. Or whatever you have already poured into when it comes to this other partnership. Somebody just don't want to see you move on without them. Or they want you to just remain single, period. That's all it is, Gemini. Or like I say, the roles could be reversed. Take it as it resonates. Let's pull on some career energy. Spirit, give me some messages for Gemini's career. What's the message? Messages for Gemini's career. What is the energy? What would you like for Gemini to know? Messages for Gemini's career. I have temperance and the two of pentacles, Sagittarius energy. Something has been going on for a very long time. I do see that. Give me an energy for temperance. Why is temperance here for Gemini? What is the energy spirit? Why is temperance here? The moon, Cancer, Pisces energy that you don't know about. Something's been hidden from you. Tell me more about temperance. Why is temperance here? The nine of cups, a lot. Whatever this is, has been a lot of it. Somebody's been overindulging. Something had to do with finances, the financial department. Somebody could um, be actually stealing from the company. I do see that. Taking money. Hiding money. That's a very specific message. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Gemini? The Queen of Swords. Somebody's going to tell on another person what they've been doing. Something is illegal. 
and they're about to be found out. Somebody's mask is getting ready to come off. Give me an energy for the Two of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Yeah, somebody's secrets are getting ready to be exposed. Because I'm hearing like undercover. Something has to do with someone going undercover. Something has to do with the sting I'm hearing. Give me an energy for the Two of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Why is the High Priestess here? What's the energy? The Seven of Wands. Somebody's going to be speaking up about how somebody makes their money. And whoever is um, being told on, this person's trying to stop. Whoever this High Priestess, Queen of Swords energy is. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Career energy. The Hierophant. So for some of you, there is somebody that you were meant to work with. But I feel like there was a blockage to you and this person being able to work together creatively. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. The Nine of Swords and somebody stressed out about it. So listen, this is what I'm getting. Somebody was meant to work with you. They meant to partner up with you. They chose not to. They went in another direction. Whoever they partnered up with, this is the person that's going to snitch on them. That's going to tell all of their business. And for some of you, the things that they per this person takes part in is not legal. How somebody makes their money. Either way, somebody chose a queen of swords. And neglected a spiritual union like there was a spiritual contract work related platonic it doesn't matter now for some of you you and this person are actually married in the spirit so this is a situation where i'm here sleeping with the ball so this was a situation where it was just more than work going on but you and this person was definitely meant to come together and build and create but they chose somebody else and now they're paying for that because this person is a snitch. Somebody could be trying to blackmail this masculine or feminine. This is not going to resonate for everyone, this career energy. So definitely go check your other placements. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. I mean the Ace of Wands. With me saying the Ace of Swords, the truth is definitely going to come out. Something's going to be revealed. The Three of Wands. Yeah, because somebody decided to move on and turn their back. Somebody could have even ghosted you. But it was for money. Six of Pentacles. For some of you too, somebody was like even paid to leave you alone. To walk away from you or not to partner with you, not to work with you. Whatever this person was given, like they just felt like it was more. It was going to be a better opportunity or they were just going to get more money. Somebody was sold a dream and it turned out to be a nightmare. And now they're paying for that because they're not satisfied with the circumstances that they have to deal with currently. Give me an energy for the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Gemini? The King of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? <laughs> Because somebody decided to work with a karma. Like I said, something was a spiritual connection. You and this person were going to just really jail. It was just going to fit. Y'all were going to be very abundant together. But somebody chose a karma contract. And that's why everything is going down a hill for some of you. This person's business is failing. Karmic trying to hold on to this masculine or feminine. Blackmail is involved. Trying to expose this person. Something has to do with records. Financial documents. I'm hearing like a peace, like peace treaty. Like, I feel like this person is trying to make peace, trying to do as much as he or she can, but it's not working because somebody attached themselves to the devil. And, you know, unfortunately, it just wasn't the right choice. It wasn't the best decision, and somebody's realizing that now. Let's pull you a self care message. I'm hearing tank. Yeah, somebody's business is tanking. I'm telling you, somebody was supposed to work with you. 
whether it was a nine to five, something y'all were meant to do with an organization, um, having your own business, brick and mortar online, something somebody was meant to partner with you and they turned you down, went to go work with somebody else, who ended up being this devil energy, now they regret it. They're miserable where they are and they feel stuck. Give me a self-care message for Gemini. What's the energy? Make a vision board. So, yeah, I forgot who else got that. But, yeah, making a vision board. I feel like um, with the vision board, this is something that will definitely help you track your progress when it comes to your goals, Gemini. So, definitely invest in that. You're being prompted to in the month of July, especially if you're starting a new venture, starting um, to formulate new ideas. And then I have cleanse cleanse your space um aquarius just got this so you may want to go watch the aquarius reading but yeah making sure that your heart um your your mind everything is just pure it's in the right space um so that you can make good decisions sound decisions and also you know removing any negative energy any toxic people and any toxic thoughts you know vision board um make sure that you are truly believing in yourself and knowing what you can accomplish. Don't doubt yourself, even if it may seem like, you know, this may take five, ten years. Keep going. You're going to get there each day. You're going to get closer to your dream. So don't give up. Make sure that you're constantly cleansing because, you know, people will send negative energy, especially if they know about your plans, things that you're trying to accomplish. Make sure you have around you, who you tell your business to. Not everyone is for you. Sometimes your family members are your biggest haters. Remember that. And this is your reading. So stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.